To the window, to the wall. Joker. Till the sweat drops down. <laughs> what have you done? Until all these bitches crawl. I'm preaching that wait no. I'm that other guy, the one that was drunk. I like to see them females twerking. Ah, God. It actually hurts. <laughs> There's been so many of these. Something for the Christmas spirit, even though you ruined the intro with your Batman. <laughs> That's still there. Yeah. No one's going to focus in on the lyrics now. They're just going to be like, why is he talking? Like, the audio side of this is going to be out before video by, like, a yeah. long shot. Because one, the videos are behind by like months because of you know bad internet, and yeah. just lack of having time to do this shit. I mean, they have TikTok; they probably heard it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah I've been really, again. I've been real slow with the clips too lately. My bad about that for anybody who's like listening or watching this. I've been really fucking behind because Merry Christmas, you ain't getting shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're trying our best over here, but it's really hard because when you live out here in like the fucking where middle, exactly. In the middle of nowhere, like where Courage the Cowardly Dog lives, uh, you just fucking got shit internet. Yeah. Dude, I tried. Have you seen I tried picture to of that couple that dressed up like Eustace and Mario. Yeah, yeah, the old couple, mm -hmm. and they did a really good job. I remember one time, one year, I went to Dragon Con, and there was like a couple dressed up as the Pinhead couple, mm. and they actually had like like really good like like yeah. prosthetic makeup, but like they looked like the part and everything, and they they um, they didn't break character. Nice. And uh, they were just super murdering people. Yeah, they were you no, know, they were just super sweet. No, they did the whole like you know how like the uh, like Dan Aykroyd's like character, like how they like talk, where it's like meh, meh, meh. like you know yeah. they talk like very like I guess like oh you mean coneheads? Yeah, coneheads. Yeah, pinhead is like the the cenobites. Oh from, no, no no no! I was yeah. talking about coneheads. My bad, my bad. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. They're a part of the same race. It's all Dan Aykroyd. It's all Dan. <laughs> Speaking of Dan Aykroyd, I fucking uh, watched the. Finally got around to watching uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I haven't seen it yet. It's actually really good. No, I heard it was good. It's really, it's really like good. It did better than the the other one. Uh, which one? The one with like uh with the whole female cast. Yeah, yeah. Which well, is sad. Well, like, that was just a fumble, to well, be honest. Nobody well, asked for it. Yeah, nobody asked for it. And like, from what I hear, heard they the actresses they're all funny as shit. Like I yeah. love all the actresses, but they they didn't get to do their own things. Yeah, like, all the jokes were written for them. Mm hmm. And they didn't get to really put their own thing into it. Honestly, what I think they should have done is they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have rebooted with the all female cast. They should have just did like the next generation of Ghostbusters yeah. with an all female cast. That would which is what Afterlife kind of is, right? The girl she's uh yeah she's um Egon's what? uh granddaughter. Yeah, 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 and um, um, you know the other old Ghostbusters show up like later on in the movies and. Uh, the the main like bad villain is the same one from Ghostbusters one. Oh, uh, fucking uh, Zool. Uh, or not Zool. Yeah, the the uh, not Zool. The, the fucking the dog. bitch. The fucking chick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the demon dogs. The demon oh, yeah, dogs. It was, was Zool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, that was pretty cool. And you, and you get a really small cameo from Sigourney Weaver at the very end with Bill Murray. Oh, really? Yeah, and Bill Murray's doing his Bill Murray shit. He's just Bill Murray. Yeah, he's just Bill Murray. And he's Bill Murray in every movie he has, yeah. he's in. He's uh, he's really good at being himself. <laughs> I just like all the, the stories online. People are like, yeah, I met Bill Murray one time. He just ate all my fries and said, no one will ever believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, I remember uh, my wife had said something about that. She's like, I heard that he's an asshole in real life. I'm like... Are you sure about that? Because I think you might be confusing him for like the guy from like like National Lampoon's Family Vacation. What's that fucking dude? Oh, name? Chevy Chase. Yeah, Chevy yeah, that Chase. Guy's a fucking dick. He's supposed to be like a racist dickhead. Yeah. Because I mean, he called uh, what's his face, uh, Donald Glover, a fucking uh, like N word to his face a couple yeah. times. Yeah. And the other lady. Yeah. Yeah, I forget well, her name too. She's funny too. It's it's kind of documented that he's been a bit of an asshole if you go back to like back in the day he had like a feud with like um, bill murray no not just bill murray um the famous uh uh black comedian um richard pryor richard pryor yeah. him and richard pryor used to like bicker at each other and richard would be like you can do whatever the fuck you want you'll never be as good as me damn dude it, yeah because yeah. the thing is like he was culturally the fucking like goat yeah 
He was like the current day, like Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. um, as far as like you know having that like comedic comedic prestige. But was it was him? It was Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. Uh, they got like in a fist fight at, on SNL, mm. like in backstage. Because <clears throat> Bill Murray's got that dog in him. Yeah, yeah. Is that demon dog? That demon dog. I've actually watched a lot of movies. I went to the movie theater last night to go watch uh, Godzilla Minus One. Oh, I still need to see it. Really good. You're behind yeah. on a lot of films, dog. I saw that movie, uh, uh, the one that you told me, the Leave the World Behind one. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that shit, dude. That was good. It was uh, It was okay. Um, what? I, I didn't think it, I. Uh, it's a little cheesy at parts, you know? So that was the point. I hate I hate when they try to use that as a point. I well, just it's, think it's it, bad writing. No, it's the point of the movie is to is to make it, it shows you like oh you see all the shit happening like mm. there's something terribly wrong like that's why the little girl's like something's not going right you know yeah but it's 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 the whole mentality that we have is like ah eh, nothing no, eh, it's nothing yeah eh, nothing bad's gonna happen here yeah. Yeah, but honestly, all it really does is showcase of, like, the shit that people can do to topple governments. Yeah. And this is probably shit that America's done to other governments. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Write it down, right? I'm telling our audience to write it down. Uh, yeah, but... Over yeah, the other government. It's a... It's a... It's a... Stop paying taxes. It's an okay film. I just thought, like, it would... I just thought it was... Like, I don't know what it is, but I just am not a huge fan of disaster films. Unless they're kaiju films, I'm all about kaiju films. So they just need to do that movie, but then in the in the end scene where you see like New York's like on fire and like explosions going on, yeah. Uh, spoilers, um, you just see Godzilla or King Kong just like in the background. That well, no, I like it better when it's like the full movie <laughs> is full on. Like, look, one of my favorite movies, which I wish would have became a series, but it just didn't really have the like the potential to make it that far because they did great with the first one and they kind of fumbled it with the second was Pacific Rim. Like I, yeah, the I, first one was cool. The first one was so cool. But the thing is it was cheesy, but it was cool. But I remember I watched that movie like so many times. And then one time I, I made my wife watch it and she was just like, yeah, it's a good movie. But like, there wasn't a whole lot of like mech stuff as you would think there no. would be. I'm like, well, that's the point. It's just so it's such a good movie. It doesn't need to lean on just robot fights. And it, what is? I saw people online explaining. It. It's like, oh, it's just an anime. Yeah. Like the whole movie is just like a an anime, like cadence and everything. Like you know, he's like, oh, the girl with the colored hair. She comes in and oh, she's a love interest because she thinks he's cute and yeah, all shit. and then. Him being like in the beginning, he's like, "Oh, I, I we used to fight, but now I work on the on the wall." Yeah. And then he, I thought the the little like short fat guy that was following him around with mm-hmm. the backpack, I thought that was gonna be like his companion throughout the whole thing. Like, how dope was the fucking like Russian team? With God, their Russian, dude. Mo- but Dasmidanya they Dasmidanya Im- motherfucker. But they <laughs> die like so quickly. Like yeah. they died like almost immediately. And then the Asian dudes, like they're fucking the three, the, t- the triplets. Yeah, yeah, that shit was dope as fuck. Uh, the, the why whole did con- all of them have three arms, huh? Or why did why did they only limit it to like two arms? I think it was just like the countries competing with themselves would be like ours is fucking cooler. Yeah. And the Russian know? was like, nah, old better, <laughs> make it thick as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> His <laughs> collar was up here, like, <laughs> make it to where it can barely turn its neck. <laughs> that robot had asthma. Yeah, it had sleep apnea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sam Sulek, where it's always breathing hard, like. It's got way too much muscle mass for its own body. <laughs> when they put the robot to sleep, you just... <laughs> <laughs> just the idea of them like, let's make a mech, but it's got asthma. <laughs> it falls as he's need an inhaler. Just massive fucking building size inhaler. And it's making me think of like, what if like there was a poor country that wanted to include themselves, but they have like a one that runs on coal. So they have like a team of dudes just like shoveling coal to get this bitch moving. What country would that be? It'd be like a, I think uh, it'd be like, it wouldn't be a poor country. It'd just be a country that's just really shitty. Uh huh. Like, um, I'm calling you out India. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> No, I was gonna say I was gonna say North Korea. Like that's, oh North, like that's North Korean engineering. It's just a bunch of Kore- North Koreans holding on together, <laughs> and they're the mech. They're just like, they're, it's like the ants that link together to make bridges so they can get across water. It's just them holding on. <laughs> it pulls out like a sword, just made of human slaves. <laughs> they're all just. 
Brace for impact. <laughs> Bra dictator. It's Kim Jong Un like operating it, and like you know how they have to like put on gear. It's, it's just, just people's hands. It's just more <laughs> Korean people just like holding on to him. <laughs> but, uh, he's, but you can't see inside where he's at. Yeah, yeah. There's like American porn and stuff in there. Yeah, yep. um, I don't want to spoil anything for like Godzilla minus one because it was a damn good film. But what I will say about it is I he's gay. <laughs> that was the whole part. He's destroying buildings. Like, stop! Stop no. shooting me. <laughs> well, it was the nineteen what forties. Yeah, it's uh, it's um, he was fighting for gay rights. It's post war. <laughs> it's post World War Two after the bombs have been dropped. Uh, okay, and um, Ooh. yeah, and uh, what's really cool is that they really made it less about Godzilla and more about like. Everything that it yeah. basically like highlights the horrificness that was the post like World War Two Japan, oh, yeah. and um, Godzilla's just there as like a reminder of like you know like the shit. destruction. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not over, and uh, I mean, there, that's what the original Godzilla movies. Were. There's a huge there's a huge theme of survivor's guilt mm -hmm. in in this movie, and I thought it was awesome, but this is the part that I fucking uh. loved. They used a modernized version of the old school Godzilla theme, oh, and really? it's fucking beautiful, dude. You hear that old orchestra, like you know, mm -hmm. hit the fucking like Godzilla theme, and it sounds so f it's so impactful because whenever like Godzilla shows up and you hear that music, and it fucking is like loud too, mm -hmm. it just makes it so much cooler. And the fact that they modernized Godzilla, but not too much. It's still his old school, like, he's got the big-ass legs, mm -hmm. the tiny arms, the rounded face. It looks like classic Godzilla, but they made, like, his spikes look really dope. Okay. So it's not, like, kind of like, like, I know, like, right now with, like, uh, with like Legendary Studios, they're doing the whole MonsterVerse thing. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they just, they're going to do another Godzilla movie with King Kong. Like, they're teaming up now. Now they're, like. Yeah, they're fighting an orangutan. Yeah, they're back-to-back, -back, like, two cops that just <laughs> won't follow the rules. Like, I thought I told you to get lost. You need me to Godzilla. God damn it. You just leave a path of destruction everywhere you go, but god damn, you're good at your job. And sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but now King Kong has like a like a robot hand because they're saying. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what? no, he has a robot like hand because what, I, what they're saying I know, is, I know. is because like I think he gets in a fight with the orangutan and yeah. orangutan just fucking molly whops his ass. Like, yeah. Drags him, dude. And uh, Godzilla's like, I got your son. He's my kid now. <laughs> and. Uh, or King Kong takes his son. I'm actually enjoying. I'm I'm enjoying the MonsterVerse way more than I enjoyed anything the DC. No, put they're out. they're not like like the movies. Like looking at them, subpar, but the action and all the fights in it, fucking awesome. They're fun. I yeah. mean, the stories are kind of bullshit, but dude, it, they're so they're fun movies. Yeah, I don't care who they put in there. You know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of the early year of Transformers movies before they got it a little before they got a little too ridiculous. And before Michael Bay became like asshole Michael Bay, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the first, like the first, what two to three like Transformer movies? Were I think really the good. first two were fine, and then after that, it just went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did you watch the newest one, Beast Wars? No, I did not. Bro. It's actually good? Bro, you see fucking, uh, like, what's his face? Optimus uh, Primal. Mm -hmm. He comes out, dude. And he uh, tells his beast, uh, like, the beast guys to fucking uh, uh, maximize. Mm -hmm. Bro. He's just like, you see him transform, and he pulls out the fucking battle axe and shit. Oh, dude, so fucking good. I never got to watch Extinction either, but because I wanted to watch it just because I know Dino Grind's in it. And he fucking. Extinction? Yeah. Extinction. Is, isn't that one of them? It's the one where, you, where they first introduced the dinosaur. Um, you know, Dino Grind. The fucking, like, T-Rex. Oh, I didn't see that one. See, I stopped. Like, after, like, the th third one? Yeah, because I know, like, like I, although I did hear that there are there is really cool lore that they added in there. Oh, dude. Like, apparently, like, the whole Earth is just one giant mech. No, yeah. It, which, a, uh, yeah. Which I think is, like, badass as fuck. But at the same time, I'm kind of like... It had so much potential to be such a better fucking, like, film series, but it was just kind of yeah. dwarfed with, like, just bad direction. I like the the new one. Um, I mean, this, the, oh, the, the story is, you know, not too deep delved into. It's yeah. a kid's movie. Mm -hmm. But the fucking twist in the end, dude, I can't wait for it. 
Because mm. uh, in the end, like the guy, he's like goes because he's trying to get a job in the beginning. He doesn't get it, and then all the shit with the transformers happens. The story goes, they win, whatever. Of course, they win. Um, and in the end, it's him like at a job interview because he's trying to get like a security job so that way he can like just be normal. Yeah. And the guy is like, oh, okay. And he starts like saying like, uh, you know, so uh, so how's Optimus Prime? And he's like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, no, we know, you know, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. And he starts naming off all the Transformers. We know about, you know, finding the Decepticons and all that stuff. And this kid's like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, you know, we're looking for people like you uh, that, you know, you know, they served our nation because he used to be in the military. And he's like, oh, yeah, cool, whatever. And, uh, you know, we're looking for people like you to, uh, you know, we'll get, I think you're, I think you make, be good on the team. Here's my card. And he mm. gives him the card. And then he flips it over, G.I. Joe. What? Yeah, and then the guy walks away, the wall fucking lifts up, and it's the G.I. Joe base. They have, like, the, the 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 jets and everything, the soldiers and everything running around. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So about they're it. mixing Transformers and G.I. Joe. I can't fucking wait, dude. How's that? The fu- I don't know if they made, like, a bunch of, like, those, like, G.I. Joe, like, ninja movies. Mm-hmm. Like, the fucking... Um... Yeah, those were shit. Yeah, but, I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like... Nobody was really watching those. I watched the first one for mm-hmm. nostalgia. The second one was it was just action packed. Dwayne I'm, actually, Rock Johnson. I'm, I'm really curious where a lot of these like movies are going to go now. So I know the DC universe has ended with like the, the most uh, recent Aquaman movie. Oh, is it? Yeah, they're done. Okay. This, this said that's the final of that uh, DC extended and they're universe. It. Yes, yeah, because it's terrible. Well, it's not just that, but Henry Cavill's out. He's no longer Superman. Yeah. Um, they got rid of Wonder Woman because she was pro Israel, uh, and uh, Jason Momoa is out of his contract, and mm-hmm. Ezra Miller is a fucking insane cultist guy yeah, at is. this point. So they basically lost all their star power. And then what is this? And, and uh, nobody liked Ben Affleck's. Like, uh, actually, I thought his Batman was kind of cool looking. His Batman was fucking cool. I liked his, but they never gave him a solo movie, which no, is so weird because he was an alcoholic and he was like fucking up. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you know, you know, it's what it is, what it yeah. is. I mean, that sucks. We got That's fucking on, like thick for that movie. You got though, yoked, dog. Jesus. It's literally that mask. Yeah. <laughs> that's his, it's, it's well, that's his... who he was. He was that Batman. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, that's on him. Although, I, mean, I do. He did am... kill a lot of humans, though. No, he killed a lot of people. <laughs> like that one guy, he just fucking put his head to the ground and just yeah. stomped it. I was like, you're telling me he's just like, he's, like, he's knocked out. And he's like, uh, his skull is in two. It's like, no, he's knocked. He's sleeping. Or that car that he shoots into the other car and it explodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're telling me those guys are just concussed? <laughs> like, fuck you. It's the, vi- it's, the pic- it's the videos of the people playing uh, Arkham Asylum or whatever. Yeah. And they're just doing like that hundred hit combo on those poor yeah. fucking inmates i know right now um the same is going on with marvel a lot of the marvel projects have been like frowned upon lately because a lot of them are just bad yeah they've been shit the writing has gone downhill for a lot of the shows and for a lot of the movies because this year was a bad year for marvel as far as movies goes because mm-hmm. a lot of shit got pushed back because of all the strikes yeah but not just that but uh uh, uh jonathan mayor majors was found guilty yeah Kane. So now they have to scrap that shit all together. Because the thing we is, we was Kang. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Like they can try. Like a lot of people were like, should they just like scrap that whole shit? And They're gonna recast. No, they can't. They can. No, everyone's no. saying John Boyega. No, 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 no. Let me tell you why. Because one, nobody cared about that character, and everybody has been rallying about fuck that. Let's get Doc. Let's get Dr. Doom in this. Yeah. Because they're thinking, what if, like, somebody said, this is what you need to do. After the events that happened in Loki, where basically, like, they... they I didn't finish it. Well, uh, well, the events of Loki basically lead up to the whole point where Loki becomes, like, Loki, the, the, the like, storytelling god, whatever. Mm-hmm. So now he's basically the one that's, like, in control of all the timelines, right? Oh, wow. Uh, and essentially he's going to be able to pick and choose and like how like the story goes like unfolds itself. Oh. He has the ability to just fucking to get rid of the whole storyline. If he wanted so to, he, he basically became uh what's that one? Kid? The one above all. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Which is what they said was a, uh, uh, Stan Lee's character on, on all the 
cameos that he did. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's funny because like what Loki did is it basically took this character that was like naive and like hell bent on ruling, mm-hmm. and he got to a point where he realized, oh, none of this matters mm-hmm. because like in a certain like sense. If you remove yourself from everything, it's kind of like pointless. And at the end, he actually does become the god he foretold that he was going to be, yeah. but different. And he kind of at the end kind of like has, shows a little bit of a grin of like, it's funny. Like I knew that I always wanted this, and now that I'm here, it's kind of like, well, fuck. Like mm-hmm. now what? You know? He's like, I like my whole. It's the king- biggest trick of all. My kingdom is reality at this point. Yeah. And um. Uh. What a lot of people are saying, like, if anything, what they can do is, you know, they have those moments where they show, like, all the all the Kangs, like, hanging out together yeah. and, like, you know, kind of, like, like, all of them were using, like, Jonathan Major's, like, face. Yeah. To change them all to John Boyega would just be fucking weird. Good, bro, it's like, I mean, it sounds racist, but a lot of people online were saying, like, they're <laughs> kind of similar. Uh, one, yeah, that is racist, but no. <laughs> but they do look kind of similar. No, but what they need to do is just scrap it because his character was just boring. Like because they weren't fleshing him out. That's the thing. They needed to flesh him out more. They fleshed him out a little bit in that Ant Man movie, and he just came off lame. Because he was that one version of Kang. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think what one guy suggested is like, what if we just introduce Doctor Doom? Like he literally shows up with all the Jonathan May like majors like Kangs and just wipes them out. But how? Because because Doctor Doom is fucking strong as shit, dog. He can do King that. Is way stronger than Doctor Doom. Um, and yeah. Uh, there's there's been there's different timelines where uh, Doctor Doom <laughs> reached Godhead. <laughs> no, no I know, I understand. True. Yeah, I know. It's Marvel, dog. They yeah. have a fucking talking raccoon that was like having sex with an otter. Like you can do all that shit. He was just having sex with an otter. You don't know. That was sad though. That was, that was, that that was, was a sad. really sad movie. Yeah. That was like one of the contenders for movie of the year, mm. but um, the rest of the movie wasn't that. It was good. It was good, but I don't think it was like movie of the <laughs> Did year. Did you see the thing that apparently uh, what's his face snuck in Peacemaker in the background of them running off the ship? No. Yeah. Apparently, if you look closely, you see Peacemaker uh, like in the ending when they're all running from the ship when it's exploding. Mm. You'll see Peacemaker huh. from DC. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> he's just there. <laughs> he just ended up here. But that's the interesting part about all this movie stuff is that a lot of it is going to like okay, so you have the the GI Joe and Transformer shit going on. The DC universe, extended universe, is over, so they're gonna have to try to like figure something out there. Well, they already I, are. I think they just need to stick with animated stuff. No, they already are trying to figure out their new thing. What's the new thing um, gonna be? What's this case? Um, who did um. God, what's the fuck's his name? There's an, another uh, director that did one of the more recent movies. He's um, he's going to take the helm and reboot the DC universe. Uh, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Medea's on there. Medea's a part of the Justice League. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts shooting. She just starts pointing a gun at everybody. Batman doesn't use guns. This bitch does. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, oh God, I forgot who it was. It's not Zack Snyder. I don't think he'd do it again. Maybe he would. I don't know. You mean James Gunn? Yeah. I think James Gunn is helming it now. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll but, see um, how that goes. I mean, James Gunn is good, but I mean. I want to see him make you're, another. Uh, you're putting too much reliance on this shit. What? You're putting too much reliance on James Gunn. He could fuck it up, too. No, I know. But I'm saying, like, I wonder what he'll do. Because I mean, he actually likes this stuff, though. What the fuck is J.J. Abrams? He hasn't done shit lately. No, he doesn't. Hasn't. He did a f- couple of Star Wars, a couple of Star Treks, and then after that, he just kind of said peace. He did that one movie where... Uh, I don't give a fuck what anybody says, man. Those fucking Star Trek movies are good. I, I've watched every single one, and they're all good. They're okay. actually... A lot of them are a lot better than Star Wars movies, at least some of the recent ones. Okay. Okay. I just um, don't like Star Trek. That's it. I, I mean, it's it's good sci-fi. It's actually really... Well, it's really well written. Okay. I've I'm not heard. saying like, I'm not over here being like oh Star Wars is better. I'm like no, I know this last couple of Star Wars movies were shit. Yeah, but well, I'm just saying like eh, I'm not, I'm not drawn to Star Trek. Mm. Yeah, just like you're not drawn to like certain things. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I mean, th- I just try to like give everything a little bit of a chance because I've heard, yeah. I've heard people say that Stargate was really good, but I'm like I've never like oh Stargate. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like it, it's one of those things where like it's an older series so it's kind of like 
the I cheese is there. Like it's gonna be like it's like nineties, yeah. early two thousands. I know a lot of people w- always bring up Battlestar Galactica, kind of like as a meme, you know, mm-hmm. of like, oh yeah, you know, if you're a real sci fi, f- like a real like sci fi dork, you like Battlestar Galactica. That's a lot there though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard. I think what did they say is like the beginning. It's kind of a slog. Mm-hmm. Like you, you have to really be into it. But then after they change like directors or something like midway through the whole series and it gets like way better. You know, they're going to make a uh, Warhammer movies. Yeah. And it's Henry Cavill. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that fucking nerd. That guy's a fucking nerd. Hey, He's kudos make to him movie. though. Warhammer's actually really fucking cool. Hells yeah, it is. But, but it gets like shit on because of the game is like super nerdy as shit. Yeah. I've seen. Like, I got curious one time and, like, actually, like, Googled, like, how do you play Warhammer? And it's so fucking yeah, complicated. It's, it's super complicated. It's just tactics. It's, it's, Warhammer is made for military nerds. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's who it's made for. That want to be space orcs. Yeah. Yeah. Space orcs. But some, some of the little armies are super cool, though. Mm-hmm. I like, like, I like the lore with the space orcs, though, is, like, they they have an inherent magic that's with them mm-hmm. that no one understands. And they don't understand, but it just works because they, uh, what was it? They they have, like, these robots or these mech things that they use in the battlefield. And when they, like, defeat the orcs, they go inside to look at their tech because they're like, these guys are shooting fucking bullets with magic around. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And they open it up, and it's being held together with, like, string and rope. <laughs> and it's because the magic lets them, if the orc says, oh, this rock is a grenade, and they throw it. It explodes because it's a grenade. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they also have like a goblin tribe, I think. Yeah. And they all use like hot rods and shit. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Like they literally have like Mad Max hot rods mm-hmm. and shit. I saw the trailer for the the Furiosa movie. It looks okay. I'm going to watch it. It looks all right. I, I don't think it should have been What's Her Face, Anya Taylor-Joy. Yeah. Yeah. Should have been someone like, I feel Furiosa had a little bit more meat on her if she was younger. Um, like the character, I just don't know why they just didn't use the other actor. I just felt like she Charlie was, Theron. Yeah, because it was supposed to be. It's like a past thing. Mm-hmm. It's like when she's young, because she still has her arm. Yeah, uh, well, she loses the arm. You see her with the robotic no, arm. Yeah, but the, I think the robotic this could probably arm is be later. It's actually the robotic arm looks a lot more advanced than the past. But then again, I guess it's just like the it deteriorates the, every time. Yeah, because yeah. in the movies, it's just like a hook. Yeah, yeah, and then that one, she's like. <laughs> They have a young immortal Joe, yeah, which is fucking pretty cool. And then uh, Chris Hemsworth, they give him like a fake like big nose. Yeah, it's like Chris, we need you to be more like your brother, <laughs> <laughs> less attractive. We need to um, uh, put a Jew nose on you. <laughs> God, we were talking to my uh, my coworker. It was on this Friday. We were just joking around, my Jewish coworker. And he was making the jokes, too, so we weren't being racist or anti-Semitic. <laughs> um, but he was uh, like... Okay, I mean, nobody s- was saying whether or not you were or no, not. No, the internet does <laughs> But no, like, so he was talking, was like, I never heard until I moved down to the South, because he was from New York. He lived in New York. Mm-hmm. And he moved down. He's like, until I moved down to the South, I never heard that Jews have hook noses and, and like, carry gold around with them. Pretty much all the stereotypes. Mm-hmm. He's like, he didn't, like, the hook nose and the... And they didn't have blood or some shit like that. It's like, what the fuck? Are you vampires? Like, what the hell? Yeah. But yeah, it was funny. We were having a good laugh about it. Uh, yeah. But Christmas. Talking yeah. about all these movies. Yeah, we're, 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 we were so off. We I were, think we were trying to like. We went on a 30 minute in. tangent of like movies. Yeah, I think we were trying to tie it in because like all these movies that are coming out, like the Transformers, and then they're going to join in with G.I. Joe. I think they're going to reboot. Power Rangers, they're going to make another movie for that. I know they did that one reboot where they made, like... It was all right. They made, um, what's her name? Fucking, um... Rita Repulsa. Yeah, they made her way too sexy. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why. Yeah. Although the old version is still equally as sexy. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like them fucking cone tits. <laughs> I love, um... It's like trying to get, like, the last bit of ice cream at the bottom of the cone, like... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's... <laughs> like a fucking chameleon <laughs> but um no what is it um i did like the scene when they finally like get the megazords out the megazords are like all right on yeah the movie. but they play the original like mighty Morphin power rangers theme mm-hmm. and they do like go go power ranger and they're doing the theme and shit 
<laughs> it was nice. I remember the other day we were at um we were at like, we were at like um my sister in law's house, whatever. I forgot what we were, what they were talking about, but they had brought up the whole like uh it was like this whole TikTok train uh, trend of like, does your significant other look like your childhood crush? And I had said, <laughs> no. uh, I, <laughs> I told my wife, no, because you're not white, black, or a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I think I, I think my wife saw the same thing. It was like a TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, and she was like, no. I was like, why? He's like, well, you're Mexican for one. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, she, I was like, look, oh, okay. You're not John Stamos. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, John Stamos. You're not Topeka. Uh, Topeka. He has some honkers on. <laughs> You're not Mr. Feeney. Is that where? <laughs> <laughs> is that where it started? Huh? Topeka? Because she had some honkers on her. I mean, for me, it was for me, it was definitely the Power Ranger girls. You know? Oh yeah, fucking Pink Rangers. Uh, Pink and yellow. Yellow Ranger, yeah. Yeah. Started early, boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, still my my one of celebrity crushes. Uh huh. Uh, what's her name? Lucy Liu, all the way. That oh. mortal fox. Oh yeah, yeah, gosh, yeah, she's yeah. so hot. Um, I remember. I remember in middle school, everybody was all about like the this. chick that plays Velma. Velma. Linda Cardinelli. Ooh, bro. Like oh. she just she just ages so well. You know. You know what's another good one? Selma Hayek. Huh? <laughs> I'm just no. naming them off right now, bro. Selma <laughs> Hayek. Uh, the redheaded chick from the scary movie, um, uh, um, the the mansion one. Scary movie two. Scary movie two. The redheaded chick. Yeah, the with the one. big old tits. Oh god, dude, I was fucking. I was a. Horn but she dog had no with butt her. though. Huh? She had no butt. That doesn't matter. She what? was. She was smoking though. Nah. She was smoking, dog. You can you can make compromises, where they matter. At the end of the day, you're just trying to get a quick squeeze and. <laughs> quick squeeze. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What else was it? Uh, oh god, my favorite bits from the what was it? The fourth one, I think, is when Cindy comes back, the chick that plays her. See, I and, thought you died. <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, no, I'm, I'm around, and uh, she's working like at the news station. It's when they're making fun of like the ring and mm-hmm. like signs and everything like that. And she's like, all men care about, it's a big set of breasts. And it just shows, like, some, like, big boobs. And you see, like, guys come out of the rafters like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Scary but, um, movie is, like, Christmas know. movies. It's a, it's, yeah, going back to, okay, let's let's talk Christmas movies. Which, what is your go-to Christmas movie? Uh, Blood and Blood Out. <laughs> we watch it all the time. I know uh yeah. we've we've uh we've had this conversation before like which is the what what is the goat of Christmas movies and it's hard to like one mm. I will immediately fight with anybody who tells me a Christmas story. I hate a Christmas story. I don't think it's that great of a movie. Christmas story? It's yeah. good. I it's, like it. It's I don't know. It's, it's one of those movies where like I watched it. Yeah, yeah, but it's like it's not the best. You're telling me that's better than The Grinch Stole Christmas? You're telling me that's better than Elf? You're telling me that's better than fucking Santa I mean, that's Claus about, 1, that's 2, th- and 3? That's thrown in modern, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's the Santa more Claus like series a, is good. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Tim Allen, dog. Yeah. Hit or miss. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, um, no, what was that other one? Um, oh, uh, Die Hard. <laughs> that's a Christmas movie. I guess technically, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, does the Mighty Ducks count? It does happen during during Christmas. The first one, right? Uh, no. Uh, Home Alone one and two. Yes, Home Alone two specifically. Home Alone two is good. Yeah, Home Alone one was good. Was Was Home Alone two the one with the turtle dove thing? Yeah, it was in New York. The turtle dove. <laughs> the lady's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> like, I need food. <laughs> Whoever has a turtle dove, they're destined to be friends forever. It's like, you got change? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sick. <laughs> just, just, <coughs> I'm really sick. Help me. <laughs> Do you have any methadone? <laughs> go, go get your credit card from your dad. I need to pay some stuff off. <laughs> that movie would have ended really bad um, if it was real. What? Home Alone. Yeah. Or two. Yeah. Yeah. Either one. That kid would have. There would only been one movie if they actually got him. <laughs> they, I think they just would have killed him. Yeah. 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 Either that or you know raped him. <laughs> Marv had that look in his eye. Yeah. Yeah. 
Joe Pesci was like, Mom, what are you doing? Mom's like, get the fuck How out of here. How fucked up would that be? Like, you get, you see an advertisement of, like, this holiday season, uh, only in theaters, holiday movie, Home Alone. It ends with him getting molested. Oh, and- my God. And then Home Alone, Home Alone 2 is just, um, him, just him going in, to, like, therapy. Him going to therapy. Yeah. And then his therapist molests him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he goes to therapy. It's like, what is this series? <laughs> no, he goes to therapy, but when he shows up, there's no one there except for those two guys. Yeah. But yeah. Fucking uh what is that? They're making new uh there's that new action movie. It's called like Silent Night or some shit like that. That's coming out this year. Yeah. Yeah, it's like him going around just like seeking vengeance on people. I never got around to watching that Krampus movie. Was that any good? I heard it was actually surprisingly good. Mm. Like, it ends on a really, like, big twist, and everyone's like, that was actually a good twist. Mm. Like, usually when there's a twist in a movie, it's kind of like, ah, that's yeah. lame. There's also uh, Bad Santa. Oh, yeah. yeah, Bad Santa was good. Uh, what's that new one with, uh, what's his face from Stranger Things? Uh, like, David Harbinger, or whatever his yeah. name is. And he plays, like, Santa Claus, but he's, like, whooping ass. Yeah. He's he... fighting John Leguizamo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that was actually pretty fun to watch. Mm-hmm. I just like how they're making all these action and gory movies. There's also a scary movie coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, let's change the uh the tone of the um Christmas questions. Do you remember what your most rememberable Christmas gift was? The most rememberable one? Yeah. I'll tell you what mine was. One year I got the silver edition PS two. Oh, cool. I love that fucking thing. It's because I had the old school PS2. I was still playing the PS2 pretty, like, late in its life cycle. But I loved that fucking thing. And it fucking, like, uh, mine got stolen. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I lied. That one got fucked up. And I Mm. wasn't able to fix it. And then I was able to get a new PS2. And I had that one for, like, half a year. And then that got stolen. Which was, which sucks. But I remember PS2 was the fucking coolest shit. And what was mine? I think my more, most memorable one was um, when we got uh, we got a Nintendo sixty four, mm-hmm. and then that got us like Mario Kart and played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. That like I think that's what really set off me being so into video games. Yeah, because like yeah, we had the the Super Nintendo and all that stuff, and we I, played it. But I, it was it was once you get to that three D, you're just like oh shit. I argue that the like the N sixty four PS two era that was the golden era of like video mm. games. That was the era that really made like video games like hey, this is a gonna be a big fucking thing. Yeah, because like the PS one like era was cool, but it just wasn't there yet. I thought it was there. It was starting it out. Dude. It was starting to get there, but I'm telling you, like the hitters, the hit, the hard hitters were the PS2. The PS2 era had the most sold consoles of any other console, yeah. and not to mention it had a massive catalog of games. Because back then, every fucking company, every franchise wanted to get into video games. Uh, uh, that's when uh, Burger King started making games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneak King. Sneak King. There was a Christmas one. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I forgot what you had to do in it, but it was Christmas themed. Sneak King was fucking like scary. It was weird. It yeah. just didn't make any sense. You just snuck up with the people and you gave them whoppers. Yeah. <laughs> they made a horror thing with them too for Halloween bit. Yeah. Yeah. They had the bumper car one too, mm-hmm. which was just like, okay. Who's yeah. the design? Because uh, I remember. What was that? It was ca- that your stomach? Huh? Uh, I might have burped a little okay. bit. Okay. My bad. Yeah. But, um,. Drinking too much uh, Coke Zero. <laughs> Sponsored by Coke Zero. And Marvel Entertainment. And DC. Um, and PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. And Nintendo. I do wish, uh, like, with Sega announcing, like, all those, like, new games they're coming out with. Uh, like, those rematches. They try to get into games. the console game? Dude, I think they would kill it if they put out a handheld. I could see that. Yeah, like a solid handheld, like. Um, because they did come out with the it was the the Sega Game Gear. Mm-hmm. That thing was a fucking brick too. Uh, you can see it on a uh, on uh, Surf Up Ninjas. Yeah, it's just hard to compete against the the Switch because it was like the first. It's the it's the one that came out most recently that is like the go to portable yeah. like one. The thing is like I have a Switch and I like that it's portable, but I almost never use it in yeah, portable mode. Why? Yeah, no, like I'm. I have this. I have 
I, I got a Switch too, but I'm like, I don't want to take it anywhere. I don't want to break it. Yeah, well, it's not just that, but it's kind of like, I feel like when you get, reach a certain age, like, why do you need to bring your Switch to, like, a place that you're going to go? Yeah, to? I mean, there's plenty of fucking adults that still do this shit. Yeah, it's but, kind I mean, of annoying. Yeah, I, I yeah. too, but at the same time, it's like, you're just, you can just be on your phone. Like, yeah. that's equally just as entertaining. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, maybe not as much as playing a video game, but the same. A Switch. I can play my PlayStation on my phone. The, the Switch the PlayStation is, remote. I'll tell you what the Switch is good for travel yeah that's what it's good for if you're gonna be on a fucking like long plane ride take your switch that's a that's a great place to have yeah. your switch um hannah and i we're probably uh, gonna take it on with the because it's a 15 hour fucking plane uh uh trip yeah you're gonna have to charge that bitch a couple of times i mean they have usb ports there we can charge it yeah no yeah so i'm, I'm um, just saying um yeah we're, we have like mario kart um we have a couple of like multiplayer games we can play mm -hmm. so yeah did you get uh overcooked like, drive each other crazy oh yeah I think I have it on the PlayStation. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. Uh, me, me and Denise used to go ham and some overcooked too, and uh, it, it, we get so fucking mad at each other. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, that one. The uh, it's kind of like overcooked. The uh, move out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, move out one and two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just have to move everything out as fast as you can. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. I know. I know um, recently, I think with like this year with like gaming. Gaming has been like a big like back and forth thing in the community. There's been a lot of bad games come out this year. Yeah, a lot of people were like shitting on the new like Call of Duty and um, uh, Redfall and Call of Duty Three. Yeah, it was just an update. Yeah, but people were like, people were just like, it's not that great. No, yeah. I mean, the story was like, eh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I only play for the multiplayer. Redfall was really bad, and there's that one game that everybody was talking about that came out, and then they immediately like pulled it because it was so bad. Oh, what was it? The uh, it was like a the was like division a, meets the like zombies. The, yeah, the, like the it was like the mix of division with like the Last of Us. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. It dude. was bad. Yeah, dude. and then the the, the devs came out there like uh, the people were like, "Hey, you made a shitty fucking game, dude. Like, what the fuck? You like you just drop shit." And then the devs were like, "Shit happens." That's all they said. <laughs> I think, honestly, I don't know what to think because I think it's either they were just negligible and thinking like, yeah, people will buy this shit and just deal with it, you know, or they were on just a unrealistic time frame of release because that is a thing that happens a lot. Yeah, but that game has been in development for like, like a couple of years, dude. Yeah, but it takes. I mean, so no, it takes a while. Yeah, but the way they talked about it, they talked about it was like, oh no, this game is completely polished. We have they. They hyped the game up themselves to the point where everyone was like, oh, this game is going to be fucking amazing. Well, I just want to remind people that, like, when it comes to a new, like, sequel to one of, like, the Rockstar franchises, those games are in development for 10 to 12 years yeah. at a time. We're not getting a new, like... Elder Scrolls for a minute because those bitches take mm -hmm. a long time to make. I mean, we got but, that bullshit online, though. I, although I, I know a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, well, we got Starfield. Anybody who said that Starfield deserved Game of the Year over Baldur's Gate is a fucking moron. <laughs> that was a bot ad. Yeah, yeah. like Starfield looks so shitty. The fact that people are defending this fucking game, like, I get it. It's probably a fun, like, sci-fi-esque adventure game, but it still looks fucking like dog shit. They're still running it on that old-ass engine that they refuse to stop using. What is it? There's a there's another game that's pretty much the same thing, and um, it's on Steam. Yeah. It's, it's called, I think it's, like, Eververse. No, it's not Eververse. But it's pretty much the same thing. You build ships, you go flying around, you board. You can board other people's ships and cut into their ships yeah. and steal their stuff. You know what Bethesda needs to do? Acquire the rights to Leisure Suit Larry. I want to <laughs> fucking, I want to fuck hoes in space. <laughs> leisure, you have the whole like uh, VAT system for Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> Pussy, 50%. Ass, 90%. No, I'm going for that ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, they just uh, call it like the cum system or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the, um, what was it Leisure Suit Larry, uh, cum de laude or whatever? Uh, uh, Sigma Cum Laude. Yeah, Sigma like Cum Laude. Yeah. That game was fucking ridiculous. I actually saw like a full like let's play. I think I Those watched games are fucking stupid. I dude. watched. I think I watched Game Grumps play like, uh, the whole yeah. series, and it was so ridiculous. And I know a lot of people like hate on those kind of games because yes they're bad they're not great but they're yeah. still fun they're, they're still funny. fun to watch yeah. it's the it's the funny nature of it 
But uh, what is tune up next that? year when we start streaming on Twitch? Uh, we're gonna play as many ridiculous games as we can possible. I'm gonna <laughs> all go, the Legion shoot Larrys. I'm gonna go out of my way to make sure that we fucking play some of the most like oddball fucking games that I can find on the all internet. those weird dating sims. Like there's one where you date pigeons. I actually played that game. You did? I did. I, I, I played. Of course you did. I, I, dude, it was. How many birds you fuck? It was. No, it, that's the thing. It's funny. It's <laughs> funny because there's some moments where if your interaction goes wrong, they peck you to death or they'll straight up just kill you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or sometimes you'll like, there's one, there's, there's like this one part where like, instead of like going on a date, I decided to go home instead. Because your character is just a character that wears a mask over his face. Yeah. Because not every character is a pigeon in this like universe. Oh, okay. Some of them are like just random animals. And yours is your character is obviously a human that's just like a fucking social outcast. And he just wants to fuck animals. They live. The, 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 your character lives in a cave. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then you one day you're going home instead of going out to a date, and you run into a biker gang of pigeons that all pull out switchblades. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the game is ridiculous. Ridiculous, but it's fun. It's well, fun. It's, it's what is it? The the game grumps they made their game uh, Dream Daddy. Yeah. yeah. There's also that uh, KFC dating sim. Oh yeah. Where apparently, if you just eat the chicken, you die. What? Yeah, like uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I watched Game Grumps play it, and they got to a point where you can just choose to eat like KFC from the kernel himself, and the text is literally like you are so like blown away with how delicious this chicken is you are literally delivered to heaven and then the oh game ends God. like it's implying that you died from eating the best <laughs> chicken of your life you know kfc's pretty hit or miss now like uh, their, their their chicken is not as good as i remember it when i was a kid i i will say that i'm not i've never been a fan of the original recipe really that's yeah. the only one I would eat. I couldn't eat the other versions they had. The other version's like not bad. It's just like you know what? Uh, uh, this is what I'll say about KFC. KFC is decent chicken if you just want like a portal to sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, all the gravy. I've always said this for years. Like I, I only eat meat as much as I do because it's a, it's a gateway to sauce. I, I'm more of a sauce man than anything. Pretty gay. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, um, you know what I mean. You're telling me that when you gonna when you're gonna get fried chicken, you just eat plain fried chicken. You don't put no hot sauce on it, no barbecue. No, I put hot sauce on it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's just a portal to sauce, bro. You know what fucking slaps though? What? I remember you remember this shit when we go down to the to the lake with the family and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, church's chicken, yeah, and a piece of white bread. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, sandwich that bitch on oh. there. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're cold because you were in the lake all fucking day, and you go and you, eat that. Oh, shit. and you hit it with that Texas Pete. Mm -hmm. mm. Eat some Doritos on that bitch, or Ooh. or or get that chicken and dip it in that brown gravy mm. with the mashed potatoes. You do the chicken mashed potato scoop. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, get some corn on that bitch, dude. Let me tell you, back in fucking like like the school years, nothing beat that chicken nugget mashed potato roll combo. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what it was about those chicken nuggets. There's probably, like, drugs in them. Well, you know they have that whole, like, nostalgia website now yeah. where you can go and you can order breakfast pizzas and, like. <laughs> and, uh, and they send you a crate of them pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want the breakfast pizzas. I They're probably terrible for you, but, I mean. I mean, just eat one. Jesus. Huh? But still, like, I'm just saying. It's it's it's, it's just yeah. a lot. It, like, you're going to have a fucking fridge full of. Like, it's, hey, they're man, sending I got, you a, I got a freezer in the garage. So they're I'm sending good. you, like, a fucking 20-pound box of breakfast pizza. You're like, I'll just have one from <laughs> time to time. Well, <laughs> they're just. But they take up all your fridge space. No, I have a fridge outside uh, in the garage. Oh, you the, have one. The, the the the, the freezers. Yeah, yeah I, I don't believe. You, I don't believe you. You say I'll oh, just have one. You're gonna no, have. I'm gonna you're, have like two. You're gonna have yeah. like. You're gonna have four of I'm them bitches. Stack them bitches dude. <laughs> He's like, what? That's one. It comes out in a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they do. I think they sell the the box. They come in. I saw it too. It's the size of one of the sheets. That's not the box I come in. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I would get. Um, that reminds me. I used to get the chicken sandwiches or the chicken biscuits that you would mm -hmm. get in the morning at school. They're yeah. nice and peppery. 
and then you put some uh get some gravy with that shit. I remember one of the things I used to do back in like the, the whole You're fat dude. When I used to live on my own, dude, yeah. because you know, you had to survive on what you could. Oh, so yeah. for me it was just like uh I, I survived off of ramen noodles the most, but uh, the other thing I used to do back, back um, before, you know, prices changed a little bit, you could get like, you could get like five Totino's pizzas mm-hmm. for like $3. Yeah. Because that's before, and then they turned into like a dollar a piece, and then now they're like four for five. Yeah. Which so is, stupid. yeah, which fucking sucks. Because it's like the, it's like the most plain ass ingredients yeah. to make, whatever. Uh I used to always uh, get those pizzas. I'd microwave them uh, because I didn't have an oven. I didn't have like a good working oven. Oh, uh, because like uh, when my first roommate I moved in with, his kitchen was so fucking disgusting that I never walked in there. I think I I uh, I the only thing I kept in the fridge was like drinks. Because the, the, their mm-hmm. kitchen was just so fucking disgusting. We like, I think we paid a neighbor uh, to clean it for us. Are you us. serious? Yeah, we paid her in Jesus, cigarettes. <laughs> what? Because she came over one day to like use our like one of our cell phones, and then she was just like, "You got anything to drink?" I'm like, "Yeah, we have sodas in the fridge." And she walked in there, and she was just like, "Oh hell no!" Nah. Like this kitchen was disgusting. She actually went to our house, got a bunch of cleaning products, and cleaned our kitchen. And she's like, "Y'all owe me a pack of cigarettes," because I mean, shit, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we bought her just like a pack of like Newports because that's what she liked to smoke. Yeah, she was black. Yeah, uh, she was funny. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, she was a weird fucking like neighbor because she was always coming over to like borrow our phone, but also to ask for a cigarette. I was just like, I think she was just she's jealous for a cigarette. Yeah, she was just asking for she was just trying to get a cigarette. And I remember at the time, like I would, I would only, I was smoking like just normal size cigarettes, and she like liked the one hundred like long ones, mm-hmm. whatever. And she's like, man, you need to start buying stop buying these tiny ass little cigarettes this is barely a cigarette i was like bitch you're getting a cigarette for me for free yeah what the, the fuck, fuck are you complaining <laughs> for i would have just been like and that's mine you yeah. don't want these little bitch ass cigarettes <laughs> but yeah i remember one time she tried to be like flirty with me which is super off-putting because she was way older than me because she was like sitting at, uh, in our house right and i in our apartment and uh, I came down. I just got on my phone real quick, and I looked at her because I was just like, "What the fuck are you doing here, right?" And she was just like, "Why are you looking at me like that? What you about to do?" And I was like, "I'm about to kick you out of my house. That's what I'm about to do." <laughs> and then she goes, "Damn, that's cold." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, how much older was she? Uh, older, like, uh, like noticeable. It, at the time, I was probably like, I was probably like 21 or 22, and she had to be like. 34 what she look like huh what she look like she looked like my mom oh. <laughs> she looked old dog <laughs> like she was in her 30s but this this bitch was old all she, cigarettes catch huh? up with her yeah yeah like she i think she had a i think she had a kid oh she had a kid that was probably like already like graduating high school <laughs> <laughs> because she had like a kid that was like super young and i remember she used to always wear like like you know like um like croc tops, right? Mm. And she had like really flat, saggy titties. You mm. know what I'm talking about? Like you know how like some girls yeah, just have yeah, yeah. very like pancakey titties. Yeah. The, the, she had that. I guess oh, they deflated after she stopped breastfeeding or something. The baby just sucked her dry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just looked like somebody like like just popped them, and it was just like two flat balloons. Hey, all titties are equal though. No, they're not. One's huh. always bigger than the other. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I meant like I I love all tits. I know. Yeah, yeah. Except, except for those cone tits. I, those would really confuse me when the girls cone have ones. Yeah, when girls yeah, have when they're really pointy. Tits. Yeah, I'm like, always, out of nowhere. No, I, it's not even the pointy part. It's just like some of them are just like they're, like, they're almost like cone shaped. Yeah, they're shaped weird. Yeah. Yeah. But you're then all, again, you, but then again, yeah. I, I I'm also at that age of like where I'm like, eh, they could get it too. <laughs> they can get it too. What are you, you got one dick? Nah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. What? I got balls. You got balls. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like put little nipples on them. <laughs> uh, oh god. All right. So Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> what do you think? Speaking of balls and Christmas, what do you think prisoners give each other? Huh? I don't know, dude. Like a pack of cigarettes. Maybe? I always think back of that video of that guy that made his like cellmate like a, a peanut butter jelly sandwich for his birthday, and it's like it's such a sweet and endearing thing. But at yeah. the same time, I'm like, 
What if they're they're probably both in there for murder? Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like oh, yeah. so the the Don't Be a Menace movie. Happy birthday, homie, for me, for show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Or they're probably both in there for like I hate, aggravated I hate, assault or something like that. Yeah, I hate when people like post like sad birthday content shit. It bothers me. You know, like you know when people are like, "Oh, my son had a birthday party and nobody showed up," and then it's like, a fucking loose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> just comment that your kid sounds fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> I know that uh, kid. I'm pretty sure he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I remember. Um, I remember one of the videos I hate the most is the one of the dude cutting the birthday cake with all those dogs. God, dude, that's so sad. I saw that one too. I'm just like, it's like it's his birthday, and he's like. And the dogs are waiting patiently Mm -hmm. for their slice. And then he starts crying. The dogs start comforting him. Yeah. God, dude, that's fucking sad. That one was sad. That one was sad. Yeah. Why'd you have to bring us down, man? (laughs) Christmas can be a downer, dog. Yeah, it can be. One thing I think is important for any parents out there that are listening is um, if you buy your kids expensive, like, Christmas gifts, tell them that you bought them for them. Don't say that Santa did because you never want a kid to say, look what Santa brought me and it's something expensive while another kid got gifts from Santa that aren't as expensive and they feel like they were like, you know, treated yeah. differently. I think it's important more than ever to like remember, like not everybody is having the same Christmas. Some people are like, I know for me growing up, you know, we relied a lot on like churches that donated through Secret Santa, yeah. the, the Secret Santa program. This year, I decided to give back a little bit, and I volunteered at a toy drive. That they uh, they did like a little pancake dinner for all the parents and the kids, which was yeah. fun. I was like um, helping out serving food and bringing drinks to tables, and then uh, whenever um, and I just went and took. <laughs> uh, no. I was like, "What's Joe doing here?" He's I just mean like, pancakes. Hey, <laughs> brew me another plate. <laughs> Say it's only one per person. Yeah, Tell that yeah. kid to give me his pancakes. <laughs> um, no. I remember one of the funniest uh, interactions I had was I had a whole table of kids that wanted coffees. And like the mom was just like, yeah, they like coffee. And I I'll, I'll brought them all like coffee with tons of cream and sugar. And they all just took like a sip and then left all them all behind. The I was like, fuck, God damn it. Yeah. I would have been like, y'all are going to milk. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck are y'all doing drinking coffee? I mean, it was on the menu, dog. It's gonna stunt your growth. What it was only it was, the menu was pretty small. It was only like either your choice of normal pancakes or chocolate chip pancakes, and mm. then you had a choice between uh, normal milk, chocolate milk, orange juice, or a coffee. Did yeah. any kids be like, "No, is this uh, gluten free?" Uh huh. No. Okay. No. Just making sure. I think like uh, living a gluten free life, or like saying you only drink soy or almond milk. Yeah. Uh, that comes with your standing in like class, because if you're poor, it's powdered milk and eggs, dog. Yeah. But if you're like you know middle class to high class, and you're asking for almond and oat milk, uh, chai lattes and shit like that. Yeah, I I kept... I, I, kn- I didn't know what a chai latte was until like I was like almost out of high school. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing: I've had cheap coffee. And I've had middle ground coffee, and yeah. I've had expensive coffee. I've had it all, and it's all gross to me. I just don't like coffee. You know what coffee I like the best? What? The fucking Nescafe. <laughs> no, no joke, bro. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was at a dinner, right? Yeah. I was at a family dinner because um, my uh, my sister got engaged, yeah. right? So we were meeting the, hey. the, the uh, we're meeting the other side of that family, right? We're just. You know, talking like you know, plans for the wedding, all that shit, yeah, right? You're fighting, and uh, no, no, no. Uh, so we're uh, we're we're all either. having like dinner and stuff, and then as we were finishing uh, finishing up, I noticed the grandfather was already reaching through the cabinet, and he pulled out the Nescafe. He was making himself a cup of coffee, what, and was I'm it like, like nine p.m. at night. Yes, yeah, it was exactly nine p.m. I was mm-hmm. like, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? That's a whole like Mexican thing, dude. It's crazy, like caffeine before bed. Mm-hmm. That's but so you, weird. It's they cook it down. <laughs> 
like they uh, they make like a big old like uh, like pot of it. Yeah. And then you just uh, it's café con leche. You just drown that shit in milk. Yeah. So, so I guess it kind of like kills the so caffeine. Like a, so it's like a latte. Pretty much. Mostly just milk. Yeah. Okay. Because my mom and dad sometimes they'll get bored and be like, "Let's go to Waffle House." And it's mm. like 10 p.m. and they're like <laughs> drinking coffee and then they go home and go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it just helps you be regular. That's it's love right there, poop. dog. Going going to Waffle House with your bae. Yeah. In the middle of the night, mm. just you two. Get a waffle with get, chocolate chips on it. Get a waffle. Mm. Yeah. I like get that pe- butter spread on it. Like the peanut butter. Or oh, the or whenever they have the blueberry in season. Ooh. Ooh the blueberry's yeah. good. Pecan waffles hit here and there. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they burn them. Yeah. I just hate it when they overdo it with the pecans and mm-hmm. you get more pecan than pancake. Or, yeah. Oh, uh, bro, but I, I, they can't ever do it with them chocolate chips, though. Yeah, chocolate chips. Yeah, I, I had this one lady. She gave, like, a like a double fistful of chocolate chips on that day. Although, I do get mad at my wife sometimes. Why? Because she refuses to use syrup. What? She eats her waffle with jelly. Oh, you never done that? I've done it a couple. I've, done it, I've had it once or twice, but, like, I'm telling you, every single time. Never syrup, bro. No, it's a. It's actually not a bad uh, breakfast idea, and it's a. It's not bad for you too if you get the good waffles. I get like the protein waffles for breakfast. You at make, Waffle House? No, and uh, like just at the store, you buy like protein waffles oh. at the store, and then you you know you put them in the toaster, you toast them up, but they're nice and crisp, and then you peanut butter and jelly, you make a sandwich, mm. bro. Mm. Not jelly. I use preserves. Oh, preserves. Yeah. Strawberry preserves. No, she uses like the one that they provide at Waffle House, the Smuckers, like little fucking. No, that's not bad though. Yeah, you yeah. Know. The I apple know. Smuckers. I'm just saying, like, how, like I don't, I, I like, I like syrup. No, I like syrup hit too. The, hit it with the syrup. But uh, like Hannah, she's the one. Who's I like, also, well, there's already chocolate chips on. I'm like, and I already have diabetes. You know what I also <laughs> miss? I miss the fucking like cheap school French toast. Mm. The French toast sticks were so good, dude. It was like yesterday's bread they didn't get to use. There's some restaurant, there's some like fast food places that have them you know, from time to time. And, uh, dude, getting, oh, it's just different. Like, I get it. Homemade French toast is probably better for you, all that shit, whatever. I like the fucking old school, like, bullshit. Bro, just go to the store and buy a box of them. Uh, I feel like some of them are, some of them are very hit or miss. The, the, la- the Ego ones, dude? The Ego ones are good? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. You just toast them and then you rip them up. Yeah, Oof. I should probably buy a toaster. I don't have a toaster anymore. You have a toaster? No. You can do it in the oven. We had like one of the four slot ones, right? And it finally got to that point where it just was like like dying on us. Mm, yeah. And it, you know, it's a, uh, you know, you're supposed to clean them out, but yeah, I need to clean mine out. Yeah, it, it's because all the crumbs like mm-hmm. build up in the bottom, just build up that thin crust. That you scrape off once a year to bake a pie. It's flavor. And the- <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> There's like dead roaches all cooked down there, too. People are still waiting for us to do the air fryer episode. What air fryer episode? Remember we were talking about, like, we should just start air frying different foods for a whole episode and Ooh, see what it tastes like? We should try it. So, recently I ended up, like, air frying some microwave burritos, and I was just like, Yeah, you said they were pretty good. Yeah, and I told, uh, I had we had mentioned that to, like, my... Uh, uh, sister-in-law and she started doing it and she was just like oh my god you're a genius <laughs> she, I was just like this is so good I'm like we just set it up right here yeah <laughs> just make stuff uh, is that a fire hazard huh that'd yeah, be fine no no if anything maybe we could just start doing that as like an actual like YouTube thing like hey let's do some experimental YouTube content what would you want to air fry huh um let's air fry a can of beans but we don't <laughs> open the can <laughs> It's just going to be a bomb. <laughs> um, it's going to be like that Russian guy that's just like, don't worry, I'm a professional Russian. And yeah. it's just blowing up like. Oh, yeah. It's just blowing up shit with guns. We should air fry. Not that. Jesus Christ. I was holding that one yourself. Your ass is going to itch. I had a lot of Chipotle chicken yesterday. Uh, that's what was served at the thing. Oh, uh, okay. We should. Um, I've seen people. Air fry a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Is it bad? Yeah. Oh damn. Ugh. I can't smell it. God. Hey, to be fair, you've gassed me out a couple of times. God, dude, that one burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Put on the Batman mask. It'll we'll block it out. <laughs> Where is he, Joker? Joker's oxen everywhere. <laughs> Oh God! The, the Chipotle chicken. Yeah, I don't eat that. I don't think it's. I don't think it's Chipotle chicken. Um, uh, we decided to do it early this mm. year 
because uh, you know we both kind of like you know uh, me and my wife were both like kind of talking about it. And we're just like, yeah, we did really bad this year because we really gave into like our bad habits of like you know late night eating, oh, yeah. restaurant runs, and shit like that, or like just getting lazy and not actually preparing food at home. I've been for like the last like two to three weeks, I've been cooking a meal every single day at home because nice. I'm like, I'm going to motivate myself to do better, to cook at home. And I've been making some dope ass meals. But one of the things that I decided to do was with every meal, I'm going to incorporate a side of vegetables because I'm so bad about not eating but like healthy. I don't yeah. eat vegetables. And it's not because it's not a lack of like, I don't, it's not that I dislike vegetables. I do like vegetables, but it's just like, sometimes you just, it's easier just to, you know, cook up a steak Mm -hmm. and then just hit it with like a side of like French fries as opposed to, you know, having a baked potato or, uh, or some steamed broccoli or, or, or some other like variation. You like like, Brussels sprouts? Huh? I love Brussels sprouts. I just, I actually bought. Oven roast them, dude. No, that's what what I did. I air fried them. Oh, huh, I didn't think about that. What I do is I I, uh, I put them in a bowl, hit it with some like salt and pepper, and then I just a little dash of olive oil just to kind of like mm-hmm. give it a little bit of fat in there, and then I um I roast them in the air fryer for a couple of minutes just to where the like, top leaf is a little slight yeah, like yeah, a yeah. little burnt. You can cook it for a good hot minute, and then it'll just. But I I also chop them in half so yeah. that way they you know they cook all cooks it evenly. Well, um. Put some chili flakes on them bitches. Yeah. That's oh, what we do. No, no, and it cooks into it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we did it once, uh, a little bit of honey. Oh. Yeah, drizzle some honey on top of it. Let that cook in. Woo-wee, boy. Yeah. Yeah, gives it that nice sweetness. I'm really trying hard to come up with more different, like, food ideas. But also the biggest thing, the biggest thing that I've noticed for anybody out there, like, it's not just about eating healthy And, like, making your own meals, but portion control. Mm -hmm. I am so bad about portion control. Because the thing is, I'm, like, you know, I still have that poor kid mentality of, like, you got to eat now. You got to eat a lot or you're going to be hungry later. But the thing is, I'm so adjusted to doing that. I'm always hungry later regardless. So it's kind of like it's better for me just to eat one portion of food now because I know I'm going to be hungry later, but later I can just have a snack as opposed to me eating an extra portion now and then having a snack later. I like minimize the amount of my caloric intake if I'm just thinking ahead of time. But I mean, you also have to just fight that hungry too. Like that's it, what I've had. That's what I've been having to do sometimes. It's like it's hard, man. I'll, no, I know it's fucking hard. It's fucking, fucking tough. Fucking tell me, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I'll eat, you know, breakfast, lunch, mm-hmm. and then like I'll be hungry in between. But I'm like, I know I don't need to eat. So I'll just, like, get, like, a – I got those, like, fruit leathers. Yeah. So I'll just, like, start munching on one of those to get that sugar. Because it's, it's usually you just need a little bit of sugar. Or a big one is you're dehydrated. Yeah. And your body's just like, we need water somehow. Yeah. So if you eat something, there's probably liquid in it. You'll get some liquid. Well, it's also the fact that we're trying really hard with our diet. And uh, just because, like, I, I've known for a very long time that I'm pre-diabetic, you know. And I'm, I am just am naturally because of our blood. Yeah. Uh, everyone in our family, for the most part, is pre-diabetic. So I have – and I've always been close. Uh, Every time I go to the doctor, they're they're always just like, you're not, you're not in bad health, but, like, the way you are like going mm-hmm. about it, you're gonna eventually be diabetic if you don't try to like like really minimize yeah. the like about. I mean, that's thing. what happened to me. And then yeah. uh, the other day, Denise was like kind of feeling a little like her energy was low, whatever. So we, uh, yeah, we yes. took we we uh, we took her to the doctor, you know, and they made her take like a, a test, the A one C test. Yeah, and yeah. she was showing up high. Yeah, and they were like, "You're about she like." You're in the pre-diabetes like stage. What was her number? Uh, it's it wasn't high, but it wasn't like low either. It was she was like on the border, so they were like she they were just like you need to start like mm-hmm. dropping some weight, and we're just like okay, well then we're gonna fucking do what we need to to get like get back in line because I I've been needing to get healthy anyways because like it just dawned on me the other day, dog. Mm. I've gone since like September without smoking. Yeah. My, my lung power is like completely back. Good job, man. And I I've been doing a lot more physical stuff, and I don't get winded as bad, which I'm like that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Which sucks because I still crave it like a motherfucker. But the thing is, I've noticed that like those cravings come, but as long as I just 
think as long as I focus on something else, they go away. Yeah. And but it it sucks because a lot of times that other thing is food. <laughs> so I'm just like, hell yeah, fucking cookies, bitch. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm nicotine. I'm having some cookies. The other day, I ate so good during the day that yeah. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to buy myself a treat. So I went to the Dollar Tree, and I bought myself just a box of like vanilla wafers. I was like, I'll have a couple wafers. You, you know? All the I ate the whole box. Jesus I ate the whole fucking, fucking Christ, box. Dude. <laughs> dude, that was like almost like 600 calories worth of cookies. Jesus Christ. Uh, That's too much. <laughs> I know, I know. Even I don't do that, man. Come on. Uh, dude, I'm so bad about... That's my biggest vice as far as sweets goes. I fucking munch on cookies. Well, yeah, me too. But it's, it's you gotta have control, dude. I know. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm kind of fortunate that I don't like, I guess I have a faster metabolism because I haven't, like, I, I honestly think that I probably eat worse than you ever have. No, now you do. Yeah. Yeah. I, but, I, I eat like shit before, yeah, but I, dude. Yeah, but I've never, I've never, like, gotten close to like your size i mean because you've always had i never uh, i've never crossed the 300 mark you've always uh had like factory jobs moving around that is true i also helped me out because uh when i was working uh for the delivery company i was moving around all fucking day all like like for like 10 hours oh did you have to wear those little ups shorts no uh, i wish i did dude yeah i fucking love short shorts mm-hmm. yeah um no i had to wear some like janky ass dickies uh, yeah they weren't even dickies that's the thing. And then, um, Dicky pants can be a real hit or miss sometimes. Yeah. And then I, uh, you know, the uniform shirt, whatever. And I was, you know, running on and off the thing, lifting up heavy shit and, you know, sweating. I was sweating all fucking day. Middle of winter, pouring sweat. Um, I was eating like shit, dude. Like gas station food, fast food, everything like that. Would you like a Nature Valley protein bar? I'm actually fine. Those are not really good for me. What? So I got 10 grams of protein. It's gluten free, it's got and- a lot of sugars in it. Man, it ain't got that much sugar yeah. in it. It's got, but, um, it got like six gram of fiber, dog. What is it? It's seven uh, grams of sugar. That ain't too bad. Yeah. Um, do you go like? Do you try to go like as much as like minimal sugar as you possibly can? I try. I mean, I I do bad things. Like sometimes I'll be like, "Well, you still need." Well, this you. weekend, I went. We went to fucking Dairy Queen on Sunday, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, give me that brownie fucking like yeah. Oreo blast." Oh, uh, dude, that reminds me of like uh, there was like there was like a we went like. Almost like what six days eating healthy every day, right? Mm-hmm. And we're like, we need a little bit of a cheat, so we just decided to go get like, um, like an ice cream. We just said, you know, we've been doing good. Let's just go get an ice cream. So mm-hmm. we just went to like cookout. Just each got an ice cream, whatever. And I ate the whole thing, dude. The fucking sugar crash is so like you you like when you go so long eating like uh like healthy without yeah. eating like shit that's just like packed full of sugar, your body doesn't know how to process that sugar anymore. So whenever you eat like something super sugar, your body's like, yeah. whoa, like you're fucking, you feel wasted, dog. Yeah. I had a headache after I ate that brownie thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Well, like, for I, me, it's the diabetes. I've, yeah, I felt, yeah. I felt the pressure in my head from all that sugar. And it's because all that sugar's hitting your blood. And yeah, you're you just, just like, got to drown yourself in water afterwards. Yeah. That's what I had to do. Oh, God. But no, then with this fucking tooth, dude, it hurts to drink water because the water's cold. Oh, well, just re- well, why don't you just do uh, room temp? I try to, but it still like gets it still stays cold. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually did see this one thing where it's like a, one of those like Eastern medicine things where they say drinking like like uh, hotter temperature waters is actually really good for your like gut. It's good for your gut health because it kind of like it helps the uh, gi- uh, digestion like keep up. Mm. Because apparently, when you drink something really cold, your body's having to warm that up. In order to like process it, you know, yeah. so it's kind of like if well, you're... this is the West. So. Huh? I know, I know. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a, always been a huge like criticism that like the East has about the West is the fact that we love everything cold, like yeah. as far as beverages I mean, go. You go to restaurants over like in Europe, they don't give you ice. You know, what I really miss though. What? I really miss just like. Tang. <laughs> No, I want a, I want an orangutan selling me tang. I really miss back when I didn't care about like being healthy and just getting a fucking. That's why we're here, bro. I know, I know, yeah. but but that's the thing. Nothing beats like hot summer day ice cold sweet tea from McDonald's. Mm. Oh, ice cold baby. Mm-hmm. I remember that one time we went over to one of your buddy's house and his like mom used to make like the sweetest sweet tea. 
Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, and I remember I drank some of the thing, and my fucking pupils dilated. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? She's like, there's crack in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit was good. Um, Yeah, I miss, I, miss, <laughs> I miss when I was younger. I miss Christmas when we were young. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it was when we didn't understand that, you know, what we understand now. Like, oh, we look back now, and we're like, oh, yeah, we were, we're pretty... We're poor. We were in the struggle. Yeah. But we didn't realize how bad we were in the struggle. We just thought, like, oh, yeah, everybody lives like this, right? Yeah. Not everybody can be rich. Yeah. Because we're like, like, it really did feel like, yeah, the only people that are rich are the 1%. But then you realize, no, we're, we're like, really fucking poor. We're, like, mm-hmm. the poorest of the poor. Yeah, I don't know, because you probably didn't remember it when that blizzard happened in fucking, like, 93, 94. What, the triple brownie blizzard at Dairy Queen? Yeah, that one. No, the blizzard. You ever had that, that bitch? Through. That bitch was yeah, fucking had, hard to eat. Yeah, I had that shit, dude. It was so hard to eat, yeah, dude. It was, it was so good though. I, I couldn't I couldn't stomach it. I remember yeah. I got like a normal sized one and I only ate half of it. It was just too damn much chocolate. Yeah. But no, like when that blizzard happened here or here in uh, Georgia, it knocked out all the power. We all piled into one of the trailers. We uh I think it was Wait, how how long ago was this? It was when we were I, it was ninety four. Like ninety four, because they had another one that had also had happened when we when I when we were like when I was like a like eleven or twelve. Because remember, everybody in like who lived up in my neighborhood, we were like all packed up in one house. We yeah. ended up because my one of our tias, like two of our tias, lived close by. Yeah, and they had what a propane heater. Yeah, and they yeah. all came over to my uh, my house mm-hmm. because uh, they were able to like spread out the rooms to where everybody could just basically sleep in like in the mm-hmm. living room. And uh, they had a propane tank to try to heat up the house. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't run, you know, propane gas the whole time. So they would just cut it on for a little bit, and yeah. they would they would use it to, like, uh, cook meals. Mm-hmm. They just would get a big old pot of soup. Yeah. But, no, I remember uh, that happened then that blizzard then, too. Mm-hmm. We all just went into one of the peop- one of the trailers, and there was little propane tanks. And, uh, yeah, that shit was wild. And, like, thinking back to that, I'm like, I wonder how many of my friends had to do or didn't have to do that. Like they were at home, but their homes were well insulated enough to where they could just like, oh, it's chilly in here now. Meanwhile, the rest of us are just packed like sardines, just fucking like freezing our asses off. Yeah, but it's moments like that that I do appreciate as an adult because yeah. it really humbles you in a way where you're just like, yeah, like I get it. No, yeah, I, I didn't say it wasn't like, oh, like what the fuck? And I was like, it's just, it's just crazy. Like thinking now is like all I, the things that we, like people that were in our situation as well, mm-hmm. the things that we've had to go through, that people that we talk to, hang out to, maybe married, like you know whoever, um, like they didn't have to go through it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I remember, um, I had a whole when we bought a house, uh, I had a whole argument with my wife because she was like, uh, "This house is great, but like you know, eventually, you know, like a lot of people do is like they'll." Down the line, they'll move, they'll sell the house and get a bigger house because the family expand. Mm-hmm. And I was like, why don't we just expand the house? Like, build onto it. She was like, what? I'm like, yeah. She was like, but it's not big enough. I was like, you make it big enough. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, our family, like, yeah. yeah you like, knock off, you knock out a wall and you had yeah. another room. Yeah. And that room is going to look a little funky, but still, it's a part of the house. Yeah, now. It's going to be sideways a little, but it's just fine. Yeah. But like, no, it's not even that. It's like, we, we had an argument about the size of the house because it was like, Oh, this is a pretty good size house. She's like, this is actually a smaller uh, on the small end now. Like thinking about it, I'm like, no, small end is like a two bedroom trailer that has a hole in the floor where you have to jump over because if you step on it, you fall through the bottom. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Uh, yeah. It's different uh, viewpoints. Yeah. Well, I mean, she grew up in sort of similar ways too, though. But it's just like the whole, I guess, the different ways of raising, like, uh, like. White Americans yeah. that are like, oh, okay, you pull yourself up by the bootstraps that way you get out of this, and then you get the big house, you get the big house, and then you move into the bigger house and and stuff like that. And it's not just like a, it's like, oh, you have to. It's like, oh, it's for space for your family. It's like this is what you should strive for. Mm-hmm. But then our end of the family was like, hey, if you buy a house, you made it. Yeah, like you, like I told, I told my wife, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get buried in the backyard probably here. This is the house I'm gonna die in. <laughs> Like, I'm not moving in, like, 10, 20 years. I'm staying. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It's like, unless my fucking kids become NBA stars and buy me a fucking new house, I yeah. ain't moving out of this bitch. And no, the yeah. likelihood of that happening, 
If we can make it as online content creators or streamers or whatever, then yeah, that's great. We'll fucking be able to like afford our dream homes or whatever the fuck it is. But in the meantime, I'm chilling, dog. Yeah. I'm chilling. Like, I know next year we're going to, me and my wife are going to try really hard to like, you know, like get our, get our house, whatever. But it's, it's the same thing of like, I don't like, I think it's a very known thing with our cultures like we don't get discouraged we stay mm-hmm. motivated we just keep moving forward we live with what we got and we maintain or we or we manage with what we have you know yeah we can turn nothing into something it's know? the whole uh is there's a tiktok that i saw and it's mainly for guys but i think it kind of fits for the the culture as well yeah it's like it shows the guy just sitting in his car holding on to or like just staring like down a little and it says like it's like when it's one of those days, but you got to keep going. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, yeah. And then he gets out of the car. Yeah, yeah. It's like you just gotta. You you're take, ha- you take a second to reflect and be like, yeah, this fucking sucks. And then you're like, okay, I gotta keep going. Yeah, yeah. You can't let it stop you. Yeah, that's our Christmas message today. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your Christmas with your family because your family is what matters. Yeah, and. You know, just remember, if you are going through hard times, as long as you stay motivated and you keep your fucking nose to the grindstone and you just fucking, you know, hammer it out or whatever other expression you can think of, you will get to a point where you'll look back at the hard times and you'll remember that, like, yeah, they were tough, but you made it. You made it. And that's the thing that matters more than anything. Yeah. We all get there eventually. And uh, hopefully, uh, anybody who, everyone who's listening to this, um, that you're spending the holidays with people you love, and you're spending it, you know, hopefully not alone. Because you know, I get it. Sometimes you know, shit happens. But even if you are, you know, reach out to a friend, reach out to family members. I'm sure they would like to hear from you these holidays. And also, this is also goes. Here's another thing I should add on to this. You are not obligated by any means to spend time with family you don't want to spend time with. If your Christmas is better alone, then enjoy it alone. Yeah. Like, don't pressure yourself. Because I know I've heard this a lot where people are like, oh, I hate the holidays because I have to go back to, like, my family and I hate my family. Like, just don't go. Yeah. Nobody's forcing you to go. Like, are they... Like if they unless like are they paying your bills? I mean, you'd be surprised from that answer sometimes. Yeah. But you know, if they're not, if they have no influence in your life, then fuck them. Yeah. If you're happier being on your own, be on your own. There's no shame in it. Maybe that's the kick in the ass they need to you know spend be Christ- better. Spend Christmas with your with your friends. Spend Christmas alone with other people who spend with it your, alone with you your know? pets. It was your pets. Yeah. yeah. Buckle down with your dogs. Yeah. Get drunk with your dogs. <laughs> but yeah. Reflect on everything. And then your dog's just going to look at you like, yo, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not real. <laughs> it's, just, it's just your imagination. I really hate it when you smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no bitch-ass dog you're going to the pound. <laughs> I, hey, can I get a dog that's cool? <laughs> <laughs> they give you like a Rastafarian dog. <laughs> Blaze. <laughs> bon uh, Claude. Oh, also, I changed what I want to do when I die. What's uh, that? Because I told her, uh, Hannah, at first I told her to just burn me. Uh-huh. Uh, but now I want a Jamaican uh, wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want that <laughs> guy singing. I want Jamaican women breaking it down in the in the aisle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just so, it's just so fun. Like, it's just a party. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. This Christmas. <laughs> but, yeah. I always uh, think about that, um, that one guy who uh he uh he donated his body to like a science museum mm-hmm. but he was like my one request is like when i die put my bones with my dog's bones oh, and, yeah. and they put him together with his dog like in like a display where it's like his bones with his dogs like bones like jumping at him and stuff mm-hmm. and it's so beautiful it's it's a beautiful thing of just being like <laughs> they put him humping the dog <laughs> <laughs> this guy was known as a dog fucker. Hey, dog fucker. <laughs> Why am I in hell? I was a good person. Well, you fucking dogs, apparently, from what they said. So as you can see, this dog, this man is giving this dog fellatio. <laughs> just, uh. They just press a button and it changes the position. It's like, now they're in missionary. 
the dog's fucking him in the ass. Or no, they press a button to like, they're like, well, we notice people aren't coming to the Natural History Museum this much anymore, so we decided to make animatronics. And they press a button, and both the dog and the human pull out little canes and has, hello, my baby, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would go to that museum a lot. Mm-hmm. I love going to museums, but if they did stupid shit like that, with like priceless things. Yeah. Like they have like, oh, these are extremely fragile medallions that we got from this ancient civilization and they're fucking juggling them. Oh dude, I fucked up because I know recently at the at the museum museum in Atlanta they had fucking um all those samurai um fucking armor sets. Oh, what? Yeah, they had a whole exhibit of samurai armor and they uh, and get this. They had tattoo bodysuits. Like the Yakuza suits, like they had the skins. They had the actual skins. Oh, what? Yeah, because oh, a lot of cool a lot them. of those got donated um, to um, museums, and yeah. uh, this is like those museums. Like you know, they, I don't know how they do it, but you know, they they move them from different locations throughout yeah, yeah, like yeah. the U.S. and other countries and shit. And that was recently in um, uh, uh, the Atlanta Museum. Oh, that'd be cool to see. I hadn't gone to. I've only been to the Atlanta Museum like twice, but every time I which go, museum? Huh? Which one? The Museum of High Art. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. It's a really cool, like, experience to go through, like, a museum. But sometimes you do run into those pretentious fucks that are just there doing photo ops. Uh-huh. Like, look at me admire this piece of art. Yeah. And then one guy's, like, there with, you know, with, like, the biggest fucking camera lens. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I would just stand in front of him. Huh? <laughs> and then when they like, hey, excuse me, just be around. Just sign. Yeah. Just pretend you're signing to them. (laughs) 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 Uh, No, the funnest place to go. (laughs) I went to a a museum of uh, modern art uh, in uh, in San Diego. Yeah. Some of the stuff was cool. Some of it was like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) And then there's all these like artsy farty, like like California kids out there. Yeah. This is. This is so amazing. This is life changing. I'm like, it's a fucking can of beans. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it says beans, but it's misspelled. <laughs> you go over and crack open the can of beans just to fuck the fuck. There's the up. one story of the guy who took the banana off the wall. Oh yeah. yeah. And he ate it. But then they were like, Oh, it's fine. We have more bananas in the back. Because yeah. they had a bushel of bananas to replace it every now and then. Yeah, I heard the story of this guy who like who went to a museum and he just sat in on a chair and they're like, "Sir, you're on one of the art pieces." And it's like, "This is just a wicker chair painted orange." Yeah. Like what? This is art. Yeah. It's just a chair that's got painted a different color. What the fuck? Or the ones that you see the guy he just carries a little placard. Yeah. That they put on art pieces to like tell you what it is and everything. He put it on a blank wall. Yeah. And people were like, mm. <laughs> "Wow." <laughs> Did you see this one? It's great. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Derivative. <laughs> <laughs> now this is art. It's <laughs> a dehumidifier. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, uh, God damn. I keep, I keep thinking about like, uh, we were doing the whole sign language thing. Mm-hmm. It made me think of that old um, whitest kids you know bit where they're just like, what have you been doing all day, man? Jacking off. And he's uh, like, oh, yeah. And he's just like. Just do he really slow like, wait, why are you doing it like that? <laughs> no, you can't do that. You can't do that to me. <laughs> he, you, don't look at me then, in the eye. And then he's just like doing his other friend like that. And then, and he's like, what did you just touch this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking show. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace, that one dude. Oh, yeah. He killed himself. Yeah. Yeah. It That's sucks sad. when that happens, man. It was funny. It always sucks whenever you. Um, it's always the funny year, guys. It was the funny year once. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them have, uh, you know, <laughs> I've always heard that, you know, the funniest people are the ones that have gone through, like, the most trauma. Well, because, duh. Yeah, because, yeah. like, they, that's how you find the humor in things. Yeah. You have to live through some fucking you, horrendous you shit. A little, you become a little jaded. Yeah. 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 I wonder if our uh, wives ever picked up on that, where they were just like, oh, yeah, they're they're both funny, but they're also pretty fucked up humans. No, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. They went through a lot of trauma through their families and fucking... And every now and then it's like, you think it's time to go to therapy? I'm like, ah, I still got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fully insane just yet. I've gone to therapy a couple of times, yeah. and um, it's good. It's good because like, I've always heard it's good to go to therapy even if you're doing well. Yeah. It's, it's always good to just kind of flesh things out a little well, bit. I mean, I should probably put things start in hitting it up. Uh, I'm still sad about my cat. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's rough, dude, especially when you've had a cat for that long. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's uh, yesterday when I was over at that um, that dinner party, right? Mm-hmm. I met one of the um, one of the uh, siblings of like my new brother in law, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, her and her husband have a, had a twelve year old dog with them who was uh, diagnosed with cancer, mm. and they're like, "Yeah, um, they told us that he only has four to six months to live." And the, the dog was the sweet. It's like a like, like a golden retriever mix, oh. whatever. And he was so such a sweet like sweet old girl. He'd come over here and sniff you, and you know you see the gray in their mm-hmm. eyes, and you you can tell that the the dog is sick because it's it's very slow mm-hmm. and its moves are very deliberate. And at one point, the dog threw up because it had one too many pieces of bread. Mm-hmm. Because you know they, they still try They're to just be, giving it. They try to now. they try to give me the you know they want to treat yeah. it like a normal dog and you know the dog was like you know I've heard about people um like when they're gonna put their dog down you know people buy like you know a fat ass steak or whatever to cut yeah. it up so the dog can eat it but I've also heard of people just being like you know what here's a chocolate bar and they'll just give a dog a chocolate bar what the fuck well because it's not gonna like die right out like they'll give it to them and then they're gonna go put it to sleep mm-hmm. and I mean that it's gonna they're gonna put it to sleep, so it's not like it's gonna hurt. What if for dogs eating chocolate is just like the most euphoric thing ever? Well, I mean, it's tasty to them, yeah. it's sweet, and they're yeah. just like they laugh that shit up. Like you see, I saw it was a video. They were giving the dog the chocolate bar, and they're just like, the dog's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, like he has some life in him and everything. And this dog had like cataracts in both eyes, couldn't hear anymore. It was like it was time to go. Yeah, but yeah. I heard the story of this one dude. Uh, I was listening to a podcast where he's talking about like he has a dog that they have to take care of because it's blind. <laughs> And the reason why he, he, he became blind is because it had ate 15 chocolate muffins. <laughs> they had left chocolate muffins out, and the dog had knocked them off the table and ate, like, 15 of them. And they got home to the dog, like, chewing on the final muffin. Oh they're like, oh. So they rushed to the hospital, and they were saved the dog, but they're like, the dog consumed so much chocolate that it's going to lose his eyesight. And he did. The dog is now blind. <laughs> the dog's, like, worth it. <laughs> I mean, shit. There's that picture of that one little like like possum that got into like a bakery and ate all these like little yeah. like, uh, like uh, fruit tarts. Yeah, it just it ate them all and it's all fat and shit. And it's, they lifted the box open. And it's just a picture of the like. Mm. And it's, it just says like, "Do what you must." I've already won. <laughs> I know it kind of sucks that like you you lost your cat, whatever, especially yeah. how old as she was. But it kind of also sucks because like I just heard that whole like Japan is releasing yeah. that. I but- saw that the week after. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It helps them live up to 30 years. Yeah. But I commented on it. You probably saw my comment. I was like, yeah, one, a week too late. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. God, dude. I was. It made me angry. Yeah. Like, I was angry. That's God really fucking with God, you. God, dude. Yeah. But no, what, what got me thinking about the cat recently was um, the new one. What was uh, it? What, was it kidney related things that, that had uh, affected her? Or was so it. So what happened with God, though, was. Um, it just happens randomly to your pets, so um, I mean you can't tell. Mm-hmm. Um, they develop a a like a blockage in their spine, mm-hmm. and for hers it was a little lower, so it shut down. It started shutting down her kidneys, mm-hmm. and then her back legs wouldn't work, and then it started shutting down her organs slowly. Oh damn! So I mean yeah. there was, and they were like, "There's nothing you can really do for this, yeah, like at all." And what was her overall age again? She was twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's about average. I think yeah. what the I mean, average see, is like when you see her walking around, you can see the age on her. Like she would, like her head's a little lower, and like when she jumps up on the on like the chair. I mean, she was chubby yeah. too. Yeah, so when she would jump up like on the table to get her food. You hear, oof. yeah, like a little like oof. I mean, na- and I feel like what the twelve to fifteen rage is like the most natural like ages that they tend to like yeah. pass away. I've only heard a couple of cases like without like the aid of medication. When they're like they, 20, 25. Yes, yeah. yes. Cause I remember I I uh, I knew this um one of my friends' mom, she had a cat that like made it to like twenty two years old. It was a pretty old fucking cat. Mm-hmm. But by twenty two that damn thing looked like it looked like a gremlin. It was like it was like yeah. It yeah. looked like it was falling apart. Yeah. No. Yeah. What set me off thinking about the uh, got them more was uh, the new cat Mew. She um like we we let the dogs and the cats sleep in the room every now and then just uh-huh. like, uh, during the weekend or during the week if we're both going to be there. And um, I felt her like moving around trying to get comfortable, and then she got 
in the same exact spot that Gata would always sleep in mm. and like stop, start feeling around, and then like lay down and scooch up to me like Gata would. Mm. And I was like, ugh, son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, yeah. I know recently I've been going, going through some hard like moments because like I've or I, my, the cat that I lost a couple of years ago, it's yeah. already been like what, two years, you know? Has it been two years already? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Um, and we only had him for two years. He was only like a two year old mm-hmm. cat. He just like had really bad fucking kidneys. Yeah. His kidneys. He ate a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was a terrible like, you know. Bad. But also the fact that he was probably extremely inbred because he yeah. was a stray. And uh, we that's how we found him. We found him like under a trailer. And the thing is, like, I remember originally we used to just call him like Mr. Cuddles, whatever, mm-hmm. or whatever. And then I was going to name him Chungus. Chungus. Yeah, because he was just a fat cat. He was a fat he was, cat. He was a fat yeah. cat. And my wife, I called him, uh, named him Cosmo. And I loved this cat, like, to, like, to, like, you know, hell and back. Mm-hmm. And uh, I reminisce what I had with him. That I don't have with like I have two cats now. Yeah, one of the cat is has the skittish like yeah. um like um Nature. like like yeah the skittish personality. Mm-hmm. The other cat has the aggressive personality. Uh, my old cat was like a ragdoll cuddle cat, and I miss that so much. Mm-hmm. And even though I have two new cats that I take care of, and I have my dog still, you know, I still am like super like I'm super. Like upset that I don't have that anymore, yeah. and I missed him because he was like, like to me, he was like, he was like the perfect cat, yeah. Because he was like my favorite like animal. I fucking loved spending time with that damn cat. I miss experiencing what I used to with him. You know, he would come and sleep on my lap when I would be on the couch. He'd always fall asleep with me in the bed, mm-hmm. and then he always every morning woke me up because he was hungry. He would be there uh, by the bed like me. Yeah. Like he, he was so so it was, but it was so funny it was so endearing, and also he fucking hated water. <laughs> That's probably what shut his kidneys down. He would never drink water. <laughs> yeah, I saw him. I would see if we left a soda out, he'd be like soda, and then mm-hmm. try to lick the. So- <laughs> yeah, but we leave him out a whole bowl of water. He'd just be like, nah, nah. Where's the fizz? So we, we have him mineral water. Well, well, what we try to do is implement more water into his food. But mm. when, when you wet his kibble, he wouldn't want to eat it. Yeah. So we'd have to get him wet food. But, you know, wet food gets expensive after a while, depending. Because if you want you want to get him good wet food, you don't want to just get him, like, the run-of-the-mill, like, like yeah. friskies. Like, that shit is super bad for them. Um, I mean, it's just, like, it's just heavily processed. And yeah. it's also the fact that it makes them shit so bad. Yeah. Like, it makes their shit super stinky. Super stinky. Like, I mean, dude, the cat's poop is already stinky. I know, yeah. but it was... It was there was a noticeable difference, and it it, it actually gave him diarrhea a lot too. Yeah, the That's, wet food always does that. It depends on the wet food. Some of it's actually better. I know, like there was one that was really good where I was like, I should just start making this. Uh, we bought. I should just start eating this too. No, no, no. Like, we, we bought we bought like this one fancy feast like yeah, yeah, chicken yeah. breast brand white, and it was literally just chicken breast and chicken broth. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I can just make this. I can just go bu- go down to Sam's. Go fucking boil a bunch of chicken and just, you know, with the natural broth and chicken, like, that yeah. just feed, be able to feed the cats. And it'd probably be a lot better for them than, like, any, like, you well, know. Well, there's other things in there they probably put in, like, like vitamins and shit that the cats. I guess that's need. true. But, I mean, you could always just buy, like, a supplement that you can just, like, pour drops into it. Yeah, that gets expensive there. I, I mean, I guess it really depends on how much you're buying. Yeah. Well, I mean, supplements alone, like. Like supplements for humans are getting pricey. Supplements for pets are getting even pricier because a lot of people are starting to do it now. It's becoming a lot more um, like common, so they're upping the price on it. Yeah, yeah. Time. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, everyone. My balls. Santa's coming in a couple days. He's coming all over your mom. Yeah, better keep your butthole tight. This is, the songs are always here. Like, he kills your grandma. He's making out with your mom. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, Santa? <laughs> what about Mrs. Claus? Fuck them bitches. Three, six, nine, nine damn six, things six, fine. Oh, you can, can suck can me one more time. Bring your ass right over here. <laughs> what if Santa's just, like, not what we think Santa is? 
Uh, what if he's just like a like a really skinny black dude? You saying he's gay? No. Oh, he's a skinny. You know, he's a skinny black gay dude. <laughs> Merry he's Christmas, y'all. He's RuPaul. He's RuPaul. <laughs> RuPaul Santa Claus. You heard it here first. Oh, the music's already done. Oh. That's, that's as much legally as we're uh, able to play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> All right. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, follow us on Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find us at the Night Funk Podcast yeah. on uh, Instagram, YouTube, um, fucking TikTok as well. So, you know, find us, like us, follow us, all that shit. Take one of those for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah Merry Christmas. And um, now, Happy New Year. Go fuck yourself. Bye. You filthy animals. I'll do a episode after my uh, my root canal. So well, we got, yeah, we've got a New Year's episode to yeah. do also. This isn't the last one of the year. No, it's not. We yeah, have so one, more. Got one more. All right. Bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>